Hello po sa inyong lahat. Odessa Morales po ang inyong virtual physical therapist. Please like and subscribe my channel. Ngayon pag-uusapan natin ang tinatawag na aortic aneurysm. Ito po ay yung pinaka-popular na topic ngayon sa lahat ng social media at TV station or news station in the Philippines. Ano nga ba ang nangyayari pag merong aortic aneurysm ang isang tao? Ang aortic aneurysm po ay may dalawang klase. Ito po yung thoracic aortic aneurysm na nangyayari doon sa part ng ating chest. At yung pangalawa naman ay yung tinatawag nating abdominal uh, aortic aneurysm. Ano nga ba yung mga nararamdaman ng isang tao o ng pasyente na merong thoracic aortic aneurysm? Number one po, meron siyang sharp, parang tinutusok ng karayom o ng kutsilyo at tapos biglaan na pain doon sa chest natin at sa bandang likuran. Nahihirapan tayong huminga at saka yung isa naman is nahihirapan uh, lumunok. So, ito po sila yung mga sintomas kung yung isang tao ay merong thoracic aortic aneurysm. Ang abdominal aortic aneurysm naman, yung mga sintomas niya ay yung uh, throbbing, parang yung pulso, nagtathrub siya, tapos malalim yung pain na nararamdaman natin sa ating likuran or sa side ng ating uh, katawan. Tapos, meron siyang pain doon sa may pweta natin, sa may groin area, at saka doon sa legs natin. So, yan po yung mga sintomas kung yung isang pasyente ay mayroong abdominal aortic aneurysm. Sa aking next slide, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung anatomy kung papaano yung isang tao ay nagkaka-develop ng aneurysm. The aorta is the largest artery in your body. Your heart pumps fresh, oxygen-rich blood through your aorta to deliver oxygen and nutrients to all your organs and tissues. Your aorta is divided into two main sections, the thoracic aorta, and the abdominal aorta. The thoracic aorta has four parts, the aortic root, ascending aorta, aortic arch, and descending aorta. The wall of your aorta is composed of three layers that give it strength, the intima, or inner layer, the media, or middle layer, and the adventitia, or outer layer. The elastic, muscular media prevents your blood pressure from rupturing the wall. Over time, degenerative disease may cause the media layer to break down, weakening the wall of your aorta. Blood pumping against the weakened area may cause it to bulge outward like a balloon. When this condition occurs in your chest, it is called a thoracic aortic aneurysm. These aneurysms may occur in one of several places, including the aortic root, the ascending aorta, or the descending aorta. Most thoracic aneurysms have no symptoms. However, when they reach larger sizes, various symptoms may appear, depending on the severity and location of the aneurysm. Symptoms of stable thoracic aneurysms may include shortness of breath, chest, back, or abdominal pain, difficulty swallowing, and hoarseness. If the aneurysm ruptures or dissects, more dramatic symptoms will appear, including a ripping sensation in the chest, severe pain in the back between the shoulder blades, dizziness, and difficulty walking and speaking. If you have these symptoms, you should seek immediate medical attention, as this condition is life-threatening. Blood pumping against weakened aortic walls can lead to another life-threatening condition called aortic dissection, 
which may or may not occur within an aneurysm. Most commonly, aortic dissection begins with damage to the intima layer. Blood moves through the break in the intima, separating it from the media, causing bleeding inside the wall of your aorta. As a result, a flap, called a septum, forms between the true aortic channel and the false channel. From here, the blood may break through the outer layer of the aortic wall, causing an immediate life-threatening condition, or it may re-enter the aorta through another tear in the intima. Over time, a blood clot may form in the false channel. An aortic dissection may be classified according to its location and duration of symptoms. In the Stanford system, if you have an aortic dissection in your ascending aorta, it is called a type A dissection. All other dissections are called type B. The most common symptom of thoracic aortic dissection is sharp or stabbing chest pain, usually sudden and severe. If you have a type A dissection, you're most likely to feel pain in your chest. If you have a type B dissection, you're more likely to feel pain in your back than your chest. If you have these symptoms, you should seek immediate medical attention. So, sino nga ba ang mga individual na prone sa aortic aneurysm? Number one po is smoker, yung pasyente natin na merong high blood pressure, mataas ang kolesterol, at yung atherosclerosis, or yung meron siyang hardening ng arteries. At according to studies po, ang individual na prone also sa pagkakaroon ng aortic aneurysm ay yung sa mga individual na 60 years old at pataas. So rarely po natin makikita yung isang pasyente na batang pasyente na nagkakaroon ng aortic aneurysm. So, paano nga ba natin magagamot yung tinatawag na aortic aneurysm? Yung aortic aneurysm po ay walang uh, signs and symptoms or asymptomatic po yung isang tao pag minimal lang. Kaya po meron tayong tinatawag na prevention then cure kasi yung doktor po natin, uh, binibigyan po yung mga pasyente natin na mataas yung blood pressure, mataas yung cholesterol at smoker, ina-advisean po sila na mag-take ng medication para ma-prevent po yung uh, aneurysm. And second po na ginagawa nila is surgery para maayos na po yung arteries na nagbabulge sa ating uh, katawan. Hello guys! I just wanna share to you this uh, message from one of my subscriber. This is from Lady Solem. Sabi niya, Doc, na-amazed po ako na wala po yung pain ng lower back ko after I did the exercise. Hindi na po masakit every time na bumabangon, bumabangon ako from bed. So, she messaged me a month ago. And uh, I think she did first the exercises. Yung sa isang video ko about sa sciatic nerve exercise. So, she watched my video and then she did the exercise. And then after she feel the improvement, sa kanya ako na uh, minessage. So, guys, uh, I know I don't have that much subscribers sa aking channel. Pero at least po yung aking mission na makatulong sa ating mga kababayan ay... Uh, Unti-unti ko na pong uh, naabot. Uh, madami pong nagme-message sa akin ng mga iba-ibang uh, karamdaman which some of them ay suggested na talagang kailangan nilang magpatingin sa doktor. Yung iba naman po ay nagpapasalamat sa akin dahil sa mga uh, improvement lalo na sa kanilang low back, sa kanilang sciatic nerve pain at sa kanilang uh, yung mga weakness sa kanilang mukha. So, I'm very, very happy po talaga na kung saan nakakapag-serve ako sa ating kababayan kahit po nandito ako sa Amerika. So, again guys, sa inyo po na hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, please like and subscribe po ang aking channel. Para naman po ma-inspired ako sa paggawa pa ng mga video sa future. Okay, thank you guys for watching. 
liking and subscribing my channel.